Aries, this is going to be for your June reading. Uh, but uh, this is not going to be a typical about the June uh, stuff. I am doing a three card spread and that will uh, that would talk about your past, present and future energy. Then I will talk about uh, what you should stop doing, what should you, you should start doing and what you should keep continue like keep on doing. And then I'm going to talk about uh, what your head says, what your heart says and what your spirit is asking you to do so we can also we are also going to talk about your path and what is your potential so it should be around 15 minutes video i'm going i'm going to just touch upon all these things so with regards to your past let's see what are the three cards talking about aries sun moon rising past present and future energy Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, what are the past, present and future energy? Messages for June 2018 for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, past, present and future energies. What are the messages coming in for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, past, present and future energy? Okay, so your past energy is that uh, someone or you asked someone and they rejected you or you got rejected or you rejected them. Uh, this happened because either the uh, offer that is being made is not clear, what is in the cups is not clear and uh, someone wants something more, they are not satisfied with what they uh, are being offered or uh, something is in your life which is making you unsatisfied, you are feeling bored, you want something more out of life. Uh, let's see, uh, you also, I feel some of you are trying to move to a calmer place in your life you don't want the same situation over and over again that you are dealing with. I'm also getting that some of you are very very confused and you want to take a spiritual journey or you just want to retreat because of what happened in the past. What is the present energy for Aries Sun Moon Rising uh, with regards to June messages? Aries Sun Moon Rising present energy. You guys have some sort of a wish, like a desire, which you want to pursue and let's see what comes up. Your present energy is the tar. So something has come crashing down for you. You feel that you have to start from the very beginning, from the scratch. You feel that um, even though you feel that you have to start something from the scratch and some, uh, something that you had built upon has come crashing down and something was not satisfying you in the past or someone uh, wasn't satisfied with you or what decision you made in your life i'm getting that uh, you feel very confident uh, in all that like you don't you know what you are made of so you are still very very confident you are not losing your uh, drive your passion your uh, enthusiasm you are still rushing for your dreams and as soon as i did that i got the magician card here which is an Aries card so uh, I was trying to show you this card so you are very protective about your dreams and you feel you have all the resources and all the uh, strength to do anything possible so you are not afraid of the star coming down even though right now you might be feeling that all the effort that you have made up till now has gone to waste but uh, trust me nothing is uh, nothing ever goes to waste in fact, I'm, uh, I'm getting that in future you are uh, still, uh, if you are relying on the people that you are currently dealing with, I think you can face some betrayal in the future as well. So I think you need to um, shift your focus and change your surrounding. You need to uh, stop dealing with the people that you are dealing with uh, or you should change the way that you are dealing with these people because they are not good for you and they might betray you. So don't trust the people around you. Uh, that's not uh, that's not something I can suggest you or be watchful of what people are uh, bringing to you uh, uh, be a little bit cautious is what I'm getting in future uh, let me see what this energy is about yes there is a chance that you might feel betrayed by someone who will probably not invest in the uh, project or something monetary something related to money they might not invest in the project or they might leave you in the middle of something even if it's a relationship there is a high chance that if you start anything at this moment uh, if you don't accept what you uh, the universe is bringing you like if someone is going out of your life it's 
uh, for your benefit you need to realize it if you keep hanging on to this person i think in future you are preparing yourself for the worst thing they might leave you uh, midway it can be an air sign that you are dealing with mostly an aquarius and you need to heal yourself from this situation you need to realize that you have so much more potential uh, than just being stuck in this cycle with this person now uh, what messages are coming in for aries sun moon rising with regards to their strength weakness and what is the advice so your strength is queen of pentacles so you feel that uh, you you okay so strength is coming up as like you have money or you can uh, manifest money or you like you need to take care of yourself with that money you need to invest in yourself is what i'm getting i'm also getting that there are people who are probably dependent on you uh, and they look up to you for uh, care and nurture so i feel that you are working also in your surrounding to make things better i'm also getting you are being very very patient about something related to money you are letting things come to you you are not rushing things uh, if that is not what you are doing then you should do because i know uh, aries has a problem they cannot be very very patient so yes you are being asked to be patient you can be dealing with a earth sign taurus virgo capricorn sun moon rising give me one uh, weakness your weakness is the strength <laughs> so your weakness card is the strength so i think you are finding it very difficult to find the strength in you uh, some of you when it comes to money or some situation in your life you are not able to uh, it can be a financial situation for some of you you are feeling that uh, some someone has left you disappointed uh, in a way that there has been a fight with this person this person could have been significant in your life in certain way so uh, you feel that dealing with this person has been really tough it can be a leo person um, but still you your strength is that you need to focus on yourself you need to focus on your money you need to focus on building yourself uh, i am also getting like eating good food uh, i am also getting fixing the room that you are living in uh, you need to make it more comfortable uh i'm getting that um stop uh, wrestling the devil do not do not engage with people who are challenging you because it's waste of uh time i'm also getting that people will uh, try to pull you down uh, and it's up to you how you uh, find your way around it like you should um, be um, like you should be wise enough enough to let the let them be and not interfere or not let uh, them pull you down basically so don't engage with them is what i'm getting let me see uh, okay so your advice here is that your advice here is that uh, bring yourself out of uh, the constant uh, worry that you are having uh, that is when you will be um, you will be celebrating or enjoying your happiness only when you bring yourself out of your own anxiety you are stuck in a mindset which is not serving you so i am also getting here uh, four pentacles and ace of wands there is something which is tempting you like a air uh, i am getting air sign something like a fire sign who is offering you something like uh, someone is just leeching on to you i am getting that and i am getting that you are trying to protect yourself from this person and also you are trying to uh, protect yourself because you know that this person is uh, draining you i'm also getting that you are trying to protect your money from this person or there is someone who is being miser here like they are being greedy uh, it can be a fire sign just like you aries you have to come uh, from a pa uh, place of emotional maturity is what i'm getting and you even though you want to cut this person out which is fine you should but uh, have compassion still be stern with this person like be aggressive and be uh, assertive with this person uh, even though you will uh, feel very emotional but try to set that boundary is what i'm getting that's your advice let me see uh, what is your what should you stop doing aries what should is aries stop doing so 
you are getting the emperor card which is the aries card so i'm getting that what you should stop doing is that being very proudy don't be very proudy is what i'm getting and don't uh, don't be yourself in a way that how you have been operating up till now you need to have it you need to change that about you like how you have been operating is not working for you so you need to change something about yourself you cannot uh, run on the same old pattern because it's not serving you uh, you need to upgrade yourself is what i'm getting what should uh, aries keep on doing for the month of june 2018 what should they keep on doing here is sun moon rising okay so like i said patience is coming for you so you need to be very very patient aries in fact in your last video for the may may month you got the same card uh, you have to be very very patient if you have planted some seeds you have to go uh, nurture it you have to take care of it and then that is when it will bloom you cannot rush the process you have to understand that uh, it will take its own time to uh, come what you need to continue doing is okay so this is not continuing this is you have to start being patient so this is you need to incorporate in your life Uh, so what you need to stop doing is emperor which is uh, stopping yourself because aries is a pioneer they always take the lead they risk lot of stuff they are the first sign of the zodiac so they are always leading so i think you need to relax and what you need to start doing is that you need to be very patient you need to incorporate that virtue in you now what you need to continue doing is that if you are working under some authority or a uh something of an organization like a school some company like some institution if you are part of some institution like a marriage institution or court something related to all that you need more commitment you need more uh, conventional stuff in your life you cannot be always experimenting uh, you need to be okay with the fact how uh, society is to some degree you cannot always be challenging them Uh, i'm also getting that uh, you need to study a lot before you can challenge the authority you need to have your homework done because you you are the leader of the zodiac so you have to carry this candle forward uh, and you need to show the way uh, but before that you need to take a step back and be patient and learn about the things how they have come into being so that uh, you have the entire knowledge before you take that leap of faith and you can before you jump into something that uh, might You, with with half knowledge don't do anything with half no knowledge and if you are signing any contract kindly read it properly is what i am getting here so what are the blockages coming in for the sign of aries what is blocking aries for the messages for the june 2018 destiny so some of you uh, are probably fighting your destiny you are not accepting the things that you ha that are happening in your life if things have ended in your life kindly accept it don't try to bring people back from your li uh, back into your life with who have left probably they were removed from your life for a reason so don't pine for them if you are and uh, don't fight the reality and the truth uh, if you know that you have done enough uh, stop fighting uh, and let things be like let things unfold naturally balance it is getting difficult for you to balance few things in your life i think you need to you are focusing on one area of life more than the other so you need to understand that uh, you need to have balance in your life in order to enjoy yourself completely and fully you cannot uh, focus on one side of your life because that would mean that you will have to lose the other area like you will have you will be basically taking from one area and Uh, of your life which will eventually crumble because you are not paying attention to it so take care of your health and work and do not uh, be an workaholic if you are i'm also getting that things will happen it at its own pace so it's uh, no use rushing it be patient with some result that you are waiting for if you are waiting for some result you need to uh, be very patient I think self worth had come for you last month as well. It is coming up again. I'm also getting impasse. So 
some of you are not making a decision that you have to make you are finding it very difficult to make a decision uh so you have to make the decision by going within by making a balanced choice in your life guys i'm sorry about the train i think it's the second train in 15 minute video i'm sorry about that you need to understand that things are unfolding as they were supposed to unfold by the uh, like the destiny is working how it was supposed to work so you cannot fight it you have to uh, balance your life like uh, your 3d your uh, and your 4d or other di dimensional life you need to balance it uh, you need to um, find that balance and then whatever decision that you make listen to your heart as well or if you are not listening to your head you listen to your head so make a very logical as well as a very compassionate decision uh, in your life so and do not ignore what your heart is trying to tell you because most of the times we uh, are always um, like we like we uh, take it for granted like uh, our feelings so don't do that like don't take your feelings for granted uh, always listen to your heart um mostly uh, most of the time what, whatever it's saying it's the truth because uh, deep inside you do know what is best for you and what's not serving you anymore so listen to it uh, meditate and sit quietly for some time you will get the answer uh, so make that decision from the space of knowingness and nobody knows you better than you yourself so uh, i'll pull out one uh, advice card so give me one advice card for the sign of aries for the june 2018 guys uh, this month uh, readings are short because i uh, i was planning not to do june videos but i think i'm going to do uh, do shorter videos and a little bit differently you the card that you've got is uh, inner trust so inner trust and uh, like i was saying you need to trust yourself you need to trust your gut instincts uh, and like i was saying uh, balance your inner world and your outer world and your spiritual physical emotional every word you need to have a balance in your life work life personal life in the world not of the world so you need to get involved in things participate in things enjoy things but do not get attached to them so that that is the message for you aries for the month of june 2018 uh, hope to see you again bye bye